All right, wall fans, common sensors, and of course, beer fans. We are just about wrapping up American Craft Beer Week at Go Tell to the Brewery, Go Tell to the Wall. And I got something really exciting during our adventures this week, and I wanted to share it with all of you. It's actually kind of twofold. Two parts to this. We're going to talk about a very awesome, special, tasty, limited beer that we got. But first, I want to get into the actual vessel that this beer was carried in. And that would be this bad boy. You see this? See that? The stone gargoyle on there, this nice little can. That's actually a can, but technically a growler as well. If you head to the Stone Company store in Pasadena, and I'm sure it'd be the same thing at Stone Brewery or their other locations around San Diego, you can pick one of these up. It's going to cost you a dollar for the can, just one dollar. And it isn't a growler that you can take back and get refilled. However, if you like going to breweries and tasting rooms and you maybe forgot your growler, this would be the perfect solution. Because you can get this filled up, it's 32 ounces. 32 ounces, they fill it up from the taps, and then, as you can see, they screw the top on, and then you just pop it open. You pop it open like a gigantic beer can. Gigantic beer can. I was super excited when I saw these. I actually forgot my growler the other day when we were at Stone Company Store in Pasadena, and this was just the perfect solution. Not only because I was able to bring home some delicious Stone beer, but because I could share it with all of you wall fans and brewery fans and just general beer fans out in the world. That is definitely a way to bring home your beer from any tasting room. I haven't seen them anywhere else, but they definitely have them at Stone. So check it out. Get one of these gigantic can growlers here. Now, let's get into the beer. Let's get into the beer because I'm super excited about this one. This I always say that, but I'm really excited about this one. Now, I will warn everyone, it's a small batch that they did. Very, very limited. You're only going to be able to find it at any of the Stone Tasting Rooms, Stone Brewery, or any of their locations, really. I don't know about Nationwide because they do have a location in Virginia, uh, but as far as Southern California goes, you're going to be able to find it at their tasting rooms until it's gone. They go through it. Once it's gone, that's it. It's small batch. They're never making this exact batch again. So let's get into it. This is a tasty, tasty little brew called Captain Ostrich Trellis. Captain Ostrich Trellis. The cool thing about this, this is a Belgian style IPA. Belgian style IPA. And you definitely get the Belgian beer flavor in this. It's not just an IPA. You get a little, and you can see in there, it doesn't quite look like an IPA. It looks closer to a Belgian beer, but what the best way I could describe it is it's a hoppier Belgian beer. It's got a little more bite to it than most Belgian beers do, but it's not super hoppy. As, as you're going to find with a lot of West Coast, California IPAs, especially from Stone, you're not getting a punch in the face on, on the hops that you are with a lot of Stone beers. Highly recommend it, especially if you're not a huge IPA fan, uh, but you are a Belgian beer fan. This is definitely something to try. Head on into your Stone if you can find a Belgian IPA. Find that, that Captain Ostrich Trellis and have them just give you a try because you might like it. It's not your typical IPA. Check them out and remember, it's super limited. This was actually created at Liberty Station, which is a location down in San Diego that Stone has. Super small batch, so once it's gone, it's gone. That's it. That's it. You can't get it in bottles, you can't get it in cans, you can't get it. You're only going to be able to get it on tap at one of their tasting rooms or breweries. And remember, grab one of these massive, like, just look at this. It's like the size of my face. I'm so excited about these cans. Like, it seems wasteful because you got to actually spend a dollar, but they are recyclable. So I'll probably be getting more of these because that's definitely a way to bring your beer home in style. And... Man, that Captain Ostrich Trellis really fits the bill as far as a small batch and stone. We at Go Tell to the Wall, Go Tell to the Brewery love stone because they're a local San Diego brewery. And of course, we love bringing you these no BS beer reviews. So check them out. Sitting at about 7.7%. So it is a little higher on the alcohol content, but much smoother than a lot of those super hoppy beers you're going to find out there. And remember, wall fans, common sensors, brewery, beer fans. On this fine American Craft Beer Week, remember, no matter where you're drinking, no matter who you're drinking with, no matter what it is you're drinking, and no matter why you are drinking, because hopefully you're getting some nice, tasty, tasty craft beers this week, always drink with common sense.